from Marine Lace for Creamy. I'm Brian Sturt, and today we're going to talk about countries trade goods. Countries trade goods. Have you ever heard of how countries trade goods? Today's three main places are about Costa Rica. Have you ever heard of it? Costa Rica. Oops, there. And we're also going to talk about Malaysia. Here's Malaysia. Malaysia. And we're also going to talk about your favorite country. America. America. There. So we're going to talk about Costa Rica. Malaysia and America. So we're going to talk about those three main places in our um, lesson today. So now let's begin with the first word. As you know, the first word is called trade. Pronounce it with me. Trade. Trade. So let me write the word trade. Trade. holding a candy and then another hand which is holding wheat here's the the box of wheat in his hands so if I want wheat and you want candy but I've got candy and you've got wheat, then we can trade. So then the first person will get the wheat and the second person will get the candy. So the first person will get the wheat and the second person will get the candy. So now let's erase these. Please. So now let me erase it again. There. So now the next word we're gonna talk about is a little um is a little difficult. It's called smashy. Live, specialize, 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 specialize. Do you know what does specialize mean? As you know, specialize means just like to um, to focus on one kind of plant. So as you know, this is um, I can't draw very well when, especially when I'm drawing trees. There, maybe like that. If you have a, if you have a tree like this, if you have a tree like this, and it's called, let me make the stump bigger. So, if you have a tree like this, and you call it an apple tree. Maybe it's an apple tree. Here are the apples. Here are the apples. Some apples are falling to the ground and these are the leaves. There, here are the leaves. So here are the leaves upon the tree. So it has some leaves under the tree. And then you call it an apple tree. And then you, and 
then every day you water the tree and you take care of the tree. Do you smear? So now here's here's the thing that you're gonna get all the mud at, and this is the watering can. It's gonna have a big top. And this is you, with three books up here, and then a smiling face. Then you come and water this tree. So what does that mean? You're, that means that you're specializing. You're specializing your apple tree. Or you can specialize your new town or the new place you live. Just like when America is doomed, then the British said, and then the Bidu people in the British county says, I don't want to have any rules anymore. So they go to America and then they build a town. They build a big, big town. The houses are super, super big because it's a town and the town is very big. So this is a very, 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 very big town. It's a very, very big town. So they specialize the town. They specialize the town. They specialize the town. Have you ever heard the word specialize? Specialize means that you know to um, focus on one plant, plant or resource or even crop. Crops like potatoes or Weeds, and you eat many other things that are really crops. So when you love eating pancakes, you're eating crops like weeds. So that's why it's mentioned. Now the last word we're gonna talk about is port. Let me draw a really fine picture of a port there, and then here's the house at the port. It goes all the way here, and then it connects. Let me draw a line of the edge. Let me draw a line of the edge. And then, we're going to draw this line. This is the line that we're going to draw next. And then, we'll also draw this line and this line. So this is a port. This port goes all the way out. It goes all the way out with a giant boat and then it goes into the water. Splash! It jumps into the sea. So let me teach you a cool trick with A and S. A there. A and S or A S. This is so this is S and this is A and this is the trick. So this is how you spell it S. So It. So as you know, a port is a place where boats go. It's a place where boats go. Have you ever heard of the Titanic? The Titanic is the biggest boat ever located. Here, this is the main mast of the boat. And then let's draw the bottom of the boat, which is really thick. And then we'll draw here, and then there, there, here, and then we'll have this and this there, there, there.
It says the Titanic. This is the Titanic. The Titanic was sunk. So because these little places were filled of water. Because those are electronic places. So they're filled with lots of gloomy water. And then suddenly, crack! A big, massive crack. Cracked into the sea, and then one of Titanic's one of Titanic's part fell into the sea. One of tit the Titanic's part fell into the sea, and smoke glittering out of the broken places. Smoke glittering out of the lonely places. So one of the space was perished, but one of the space was perished, but the other place disappeared into the water too. As it disappeared into the water, smoke glittered out of the place. It glittered, and then the Titanic, which is the biggest ship, fell into the sea. That's the biggest ship we've ever heard. There's also a cruise ship. A cruise ship is also, a Titanic is a type of cruise ship. So now let's start with the mini quiz. Let's start with the mini quiz. So in the mini quiz, I'm going to have a map of the world. Here's a map of the world. I'm just going to draw it using imagination. There, this is the map of the world. This is Asia. This is Africa. This is North America. This is South America. And then finally we have and finally we have Australia. We also have Antarctica. So those are the seven continents of the world. We're only focusing on Mostarica. We're also focusing on America. We're also focusing on Malaysia. So those are the places we're going to focus on. I bet there's a lot to erase, but we're going to talk about these three places that get very important things to trading. To trading. Can you hear me? Trading. They give very important things to trading. Have you ever heard of trading? Trading is like, um, trading is actually like putting things in other hands and taking them back. Not really like that, but you get things from each other. So now in In America, which is here, this is America. All right, A for America. Then, in America, they will trade wheat. In Malaysia, here's Malaysia. In Malaysia, here's a Malaysia country. In Malaysia, then in Malaysia, we will also sell rubber. And finally, in Costa Rica, here's Costa Rica. Costa Rica really is not that big, 
but I've just forced it so it could be big. They're finally here. So this is the crazy Costa Rica. Actually, I showed India and Costa Rica because I knew that you couldn't see Costa Rica when I drew it just like this. I knew you couldn't see it. So this is the map of the whole world. Then, then Costa Rica will sell, as you know, Costa Rica will sell B, 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 N, A. B, N, A. erase all of this, I bet we have to erase a lot. So I'm just going to leave a few of them. Because in the speaking passage, we're not going to do all of that because um, the board is really big and my writings are a little big and my drawings are a little crazy. So uh, I don't think we're going to clear about it. But my drawings are really, really, really crazy. So now I finished. Oops. Now I finished erasing all of that. So now let's begin with our, our questions to today. So the first question we're going to answer is actually a very simple question. That question is. Costa Rica sells, as you know, Costa Rica sells what? As you know, Costa Rica actually sells bananas. Just like Q, B, B, I mean Q, B, B, C. The flying banana. The flying banana. That's Q, B, C, C. sells beep rubber plastic or metal which do you choose as you know you choose rubber 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 so as you know you choose rubber rubber is a very important material this opening this red place of this bottle is made out of water. I mean rubber. This is rubber. Or even some of your toys can be made out of rubber. Just like some police car Lego toys or anything or any toy you like. If you love any toy, make sure that that toy is made out of plastic or rubber because it's gonna be hard. Let me put it to the ground. And now, those are the questions for today. And now let's take a short break and come back and we'll do the speaking section. So, don't go away. La, la, la. So, hi, so now, let's begin with the speaking section. Before the speaking section, I'm going to warn you some, about some things. What are those warnings? As you know, I will tell you to read along with me. You will read along with me or read along with me in your mind. Whenever I read a word just like Costa Rica or Malaysia, then you have to follow with me in your mind or out loud. You can practice it in your mind or out loud. So now, practice the vocabulary section in the book as we learn so far. 
So now let's begin the speaking. So 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 section. So the speaking section is about countries trade goods. Today we're gonna talk about international trades. America, Malaysia, Costa Rica, how they trade goods, and what some other countries can be located near these places. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So now let's begin with the speaking section. So let's begin the speaking section. As you know, the speaking section is about, is about as you know, the speaking section is about uh, countries trade goods. So, are you ready? Let's begin. Countries trade goods. Goods and services in factories in America usually, so they only do it a little, usually spread all over the world. This is because um, countries like America, Malaysia, Costa Rica, and other countries also trade and batter goods. So that's what we're going to mainly talk about today. So now let's begin the main part or the main paragraph of this video. So, let's begin. When they trade goods, Malaysia does not have enough wheat, but Malaysia specializes in growing rubber. But uh, actually, um, America specializes in growing wheat, but it doesn't have enough rubber. So that's why we trade. So, the people in Malaysia would trade their rubber to America, and America would trade their wheat to Malaysia, which is right here. So, they trade da, 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 to Malaysia, or they trade da, 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 to Costa Rica. Costa Rica. And now, finally, I'm going to talk about how Malaysia and Costa Rica actually uh, trade. So let's restart. Costa Rica, I mean, Costa Rica um, specializes in the humid and hot weather to grow, as you know, bananas. And Malaysia um, specializes in growing rubber. But actually, Malaysia doesn't have enough bananas, and finally, Costa Rica does not have enough rubber, so they trade. Malaysia will trade their rubber to Costa Rica, and Costa Rica will trade their bananas to, as you know, to Malaysia. And that's how they trade. That's how some countries trade together. The, how they trade. So now that's the end of the speaking section for today. And now let's do the speaking section questions. The speaking question questions. The speaking section questions are uh, all about countries trade goods. So first, America, beep. America, beep in growing, beep. But beep specializes beep growing beep. So what are those things that we're gonna put in the beeps? So now let's see. America, America actually trades. America specializes in growing, as you know, America specializes in growing wheat. But, as you know, Costa Rica specializes in growing bananas. So they trade. They trade. 
So the, the American people will trade their wheat to Costa Rica and Costa Rica will trade their bananas to America. So that's how we trade. We trade our things from one to each other. So now let's do the second question. The second question is, we're going to talk about inter, international trades. So international trades. The dollar sign means importing goods. And the dollar sign of Malaysian people usually mean exporting goods. So when importing goods, they will give the money to the people in Malaysia. And in return, they will give us back the their money. We don't know what money that we can identify, but we can still learn a lot from scientists as today. So now, did you enjoy this lesson? I hope you did. So now, goodbye and take care. And see you in the next lesson. So take care, everybody. See you next time.